क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी ए पार्ट इट इज ए रेगुलर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ ट्राइंगल विल अप्लाई साइन रूल एंड कैन राइट इट एज साइन स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस साइन स्क्वायर वाई इक्वल्स टू साइन स्क्वायर जेड देन आई कैन राइट इट एज ट्वाइस साइन एक्स माइनस वाई इंटू साइन एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल्स टू साइन स्क्वायर जेड एंड वी नो दैट एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज पाई देर फॉर साइन एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल्स टू साइन जेड सो आई कैंसल साइन एक्स प्लस वाई ऑन बोथ द साइड दिस गिवस मी लैमडा इज इक्वल्स टू साइन एक्स माइनस वाई अपॉन साइन जेड सो हाफ सो माई इक्वेशन विल बिकम कॉस एन पाई बाई टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो विच इज ट्रू विच इज ट्रू फॉर ऑड वैल्यूज ऑफ एन वन थ्री Five. I have only three choices. So the right answer for A part will be P, R, and S. Now the B part. B part will convert all the expressions in sine one plus cos two x will be one minus two sine square x. Then two cos two y, which is one minus two sine square y, equals to Two sine x sine y. You can see this two is cancelled. This is two, and this is also two. After cancelling this two, I will take minus two as common factor. Sine square x minus two sine square y is equal to two sine x sine y. Dividing it by two on both the side, and then using the sine rule, x upon a upon sine a equals to b upon sine b equals to c upon sine c equals to two r. I can write the relation as minus a square plus two b square equals to two a b. This is a quadratic in a. A square plus two a b minus two b square equals to zero. Divided by b square. This gives us. We cancel the two here. This is only a b. So the quadratic is a by b whole square plus a by b minus two equals to zero. There are only two values of a by b, minus two and one. It is obviously rejected. One is the only value. So for b, the right option is p. Now for c, c part. is related to coordinate geometry two dimensional geometry we can see root 3 comma 1 and 1 comma root 3 are reflection of each other in the line y equals to x so if we are looking for the angle bisector of these two vector this is ox and this is oy so their angle bisector will be line y equals to x and the third point having the position vector beta comma 1 minus beta So I will calculate the length of perpendicular from this point to the line. This gives us beta minus one minus beta divided by root two, and this distance is given us as three upon root two. By solving the relation, two beta minus one is equals to plus minus three. Beta comes to be two for positive sign and minus one for negative sign. They are asking the magnitude of it. That's a one and two. P and Q are the right answers. And the last part D. For D, I will rub the solution of part A. In D, they are in fact itself two problems for alpha equals to zero and for alpha equals to one. Let us sketch it. For alpha equals to zero, for alpha equals to zero, the fourth curve will become y equals to three, and rest of the curves are very well known. This is y square equals to four x. This is x equals to two line, and for x equals to zero, this is x equals to zero. Now I will sketch the line y equals to three. I drawn it in this manner. 
because this point is 2 comma 2 root 2. So, it is slightly above this point y equals to 3. We have to find the graph, find the area bounded by these figures. So, this shaded area is the required area. To get this area, we will calculate the area of this rectangle. This is origin, this is 2 and this is 0 comma 3. Therefore, the area of rectangle is 6 minus the area of this dotted region is 0 to 2, 2 root x dx. This is alpha equals to 0. Let us integrate it to get the final answer. This is 6 minus 6 minus 4 by 3 x power 3 by 2 which gives us 2 root 2. So, 8 root 2 by 3. So, f alpha plus 8 root 3 by 2 in this case will be 6. 8 root 3 by 2 in this case is 6. Let us see what happened in alpha equals to 1. The second case. In second case, three figures are as it is and the fourth one will become y equals to mod x minus 1 plus mod x minus 2 plus x. When we define it in two parts, the first part is for 0 to 1 and the for other part it is 1 to 2. When x is 0 to 1, this is 1 minus x, 2 minus x. So, 3 minus x and for x 1 to 2, it is x minus 1, it is 2 minus x. So, it overall gives us 1 plus x. This is the definition. I have just written the definition. Now, what I am going to do is, I will sketch it and get the area. This is parabola y square equals to 4x y square equals to 4x. This is line y equals to 3, although it is not needed, but it is quite interesting to see that this will play a, a very little role. When we sketch 3 minus x, when x is 0, so y is 3, this is the point. When x is 1, it is approaching to 2. So, this point is coincidentally lying on the parabola. y square equals to 4x. When you put x equals to 1, y square is 4, y is 2. So, this point is 2. And 1 plus x, at 1 it is 2 and at 2 it is 3. So, this is the point, 2 comma 3. So, we have to find the area, shaded area. I will shade it for you. You can see the shaded area. It is almost the same kind of area which we drawn earlier. The only difference is, it is the triangle which is making the difference. The entire area is same, just subtracted by the area of triangle. And the area of triangle is 2, is the base and 1 is the height. So, the area is 1. So, its answer is 5 minus 8 by 3 root 2. I wrote the same answer, just subtracted by 1. So, if I will calculate this quantity, it will be 5. So, these are two possible values. So, the right options will be 5 and 6. So, S and T are the right answers.